Hello guys and welcome back. So, back on Vault Hunters. First of all, you might be noticing that there's a couple things that's changed. Uh, yes. I have changed this a lot. I moved the chests upstairs into a secret room that I didn't know was there until I accidentally discovered it. I moved some stuff up here. I have this to where, uh, since the storage room is upstairs, I don't know why it's lagging so bad. Since the storage room is upstairs, I can just throw it. This is my b-hole. It's, now that I said it out loud, that's not what it means. Uh, there's a bee that every once in a while comes in and likes to come up here and hang out. I left it open so it can get out there, but it doesn't like that big one. It likes to go through the trap door. So I left it open. And <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Uh, it goes in and out of this for some reason. Anyways, I have chests so I can just grab the ingredients and throw it down into this. Man, it's lagging so much. Uh, these, I don't have anything yet for. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much just everything. And we can't actually go down here if we press shift. Um... So, let's do our skill points. Okay, so, I did Hunter, which is a pretty good one. Like, I, I mean, I don't use it very often, but I think it's, I think it's useful. Um, I don't want to do this. I definitely want to do healing. I think I'll do healing and then, vi like, two levels of Vein Miner. So, with the two levels of Vein Miner... Instead of doing 8 blocks, I can now do 16 blocks. And the next one is 32. So, this has two, uh, I guess, subcategories. You can choose Finesse Miner, which has a chance of not taking durability, except for it, uh, ha it not even halves. You do a quarter of the amount of blocks. So... We can only do four. And then Void Miner just means that it destroys it all inside the vault. Which is not good, in my opinion. Um, it just isn't to me. So, we have a vault already lined up and I have an extra crystal. So we can just go through here and see what it is. It's going to be the mo monoliths. I'm going to pause until we get in there. All right. We're in it. It's This is the best monolith thing that you can get. And the higher level is, the more monoliths you could have. This is one. So it's going to be pretty simple of just in, out. Well, in, loot, out. Um, Let me see if there's any living. And then G. There is some up there. All right, that's it. So the easiest way of getting up there is through this little hole. So I don't know why it's lagging so much. So I am going to record this a little bit and kind of stop recording. And then just put this in like really quick I guess take all that this is important I don't know. these are good I don't know why I still have two pick I don't know why I have two pickaxes at all actually rage a taunt cloud? Is that what this has? Does this have taunt cloud on it? Let's see. Fear cloud. Okay. Tab. Yoink all of that stuff. All the other stuff isn't really useful. Like these are just decoration, decorational blocks. So you can get them. I would not recommend. There's just no point to it really. Just because it's just pure decoration. 
So with this one, I am going to waste like the whole crystal because this lag is probably worse on the recording. And if it is, then I do not want you guys watching stuff like that. Like it's, it's hard. And if it's hard to play on, it has to be harder to look at. So I'm just going to go find it and leave. I forgot, can't heal. So with heal, the more you put it, the more levels you put into it, the less mana it costs and the more you can heal and the less recharge time. Well, actually that one's not true. The more it heals, but the more mana it costs and then the more, um, more time it costs to recharge. To potion stuff. Yeah, this one's just gonna be in and out because I really I, I w wish that this was easier to watch. But as you can see, I am lagging as well. Like, it's not just the video, it's the game itself. So I looked up some stuff to hopefully get it done. Uh, I hate zombies. Baby zombies. Man. Beniatite. Did I get that before? I might have. Beniatite is good. I don't know if I said that. But Beniatite is good because that gives you the knowledge stuff. I can save that. So there is not any down here. So I'm just going to quickly check the upward area and see about that. See if there's anything up top. If I can't like instantly see it, I'm just going to go to the next room and hopefully find the monolith. I'll be back if anything like super exciting happens. All right, guys, I will see you back and hopefully what I'm going to do will help fix the uh, lag. So I will be back. All right. I mean, there's still a little bit of lag. I say a little bit, but honestly, I don't know. I might have to suspend this series because I don't know why it's lagging so much. Because uh, when I was first playing this, there was no lag at all. I was surprised on how smooth it went. Um, you know what? I might have to sacrifice. Hold on. Like my other world, because that might have a lot of the data. And anyways, I'll be right back once more. Sorry about that. All right. I deleted my other world and there's nothing I can do about it now. If it doesn't fix this, then I might just end up having to suspend this and do, I don't know, a different modded survival type thing. But, I mean, I don't mind restarting the s Vault Hunters on my own, that is. It's it's a great mod pack. Uh, my computer's not good. Like it, it was made, like, five, six, seven, eight years ago. I don't even know how long, it, how old it is now. But, see, guys, look, almost flawless. But I did level up from that. So, I will put another, maybe not, um, let's do, let's do Nova. We can do Nova. Poison Nova. But let's do, let's do Frost Nova. That seems pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, let me just put the stuff away. I hope I, like, my volume's all right. Uh, it should be, in theory. But then again, who knows? Like, I can never seem to get, like, I don't know why this is so laggy. It really shouldn't be. Where do I put any type? Where's ores? Ores. Okay. So let's just put those in there. Let's see. Um, 
just grab this, I guess. And pop it open. Which these little particle things won't help. Um, let's see. This guy. So, let's put the soul shards in there. Let's see, we got some jewels. We got 50 size. That's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, shoveling basically turns whatever tool it is into a shovel. Pretty self explanatory. A relic booster pack. That's good. Now let's put that in there because why not? So, basically, this is a relic, and if you get f all of the ones from the same set, um, you get bonus. Uh, I don't know why something's buffering. You get bonus time in the dungeon. So, this is a common one. This is a common one as well. Which one's better? Ability power or soul chance? This one's better. So, oh well. It doesn't really matter. We also got another sword. Um, this one's really good. If you look at this, the, it's almost complete. It's almost max. This one, not really close. Although you see that at the bottom, the suffix, that is a legendary modifier, which means that it goes on beyond it. That one goes beyond your uh, current level, which I might do. Although I like how I one hit everything. Uh, let's see. I will test it out and see how well it does. I'll test out this current, test it in this next vault, and from there, we will see if we like it or not. Oh, I forgot one. This is a good one. Item rarity. It's just you have a higher chance of fighting, finding uh, better, more rare items. So like, you could find armor, or unidentified something. Oh, you know what? What is this? Let's complete this. I get gear. And this uh, is that. Let's just do this really quick. Unless this is like epic or better, it's probably not going to be better. Oh, never mind. That's gonna replace my other sword. And that I could save for like later, I guess. You know what? I don't I wish I wasn't lagging so much. Um Let me let me make that one, the shard pouch, because that'll make getting the shards easier. Alright guys, I just think that I found the best form of wandering trader he is on an elephant and he's freaking out he doesn't have anything that's pretty cool I'm looking for cows uh, vault hunters like the mod itself has these things called animal jars basically it can in you in conjunction with another block it basically turns it into a one block mob farm for, I guess it would be more of a mob pen because you need those mobs in the first place. So, and it's not like they automatically just reproduce. You do need to feed them. Like with pigs, you need to feed them some sort of root vegetable. Cows, you need to feed them um, wheat, sheep, wheat, uh, Rabbits, either dandelions or carrots. It's not like, um, man, still lag. I don't know why. It they made it to where it's you not. It's not overpowered. By the way, that's a Shiba. It's a dog, from Quark. 
I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like specifically supposed to be for some sort of Sheba, but they're in the game now, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's a cow over this way. Was a cow. There was a cow. I don't know if there is now. Oh, there's one up that way. I'm looking at the mini map, by the way. Because the mini map has like these mini mob heads that tell you where our creatures are. And they have it disabled in the vaults, so you can't like abuse it. Um, because I mean, it's clear, like, you can use it to abuse a lot of the stuff. And then it's just no fun. Uh, yeah, I might have to suspend this, which, Gideon, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I, I, I really wanted to use your, the, your outro, but, I don't know, at this rate, I, I just don't want to make poor quality videos. Sorry if that was loud, probably was. I don't want to make poor quality videos. I just don't, like... The only thing high quality, which is not a bad thing, is going to be your video. Is because, uh, I don't know, the way I made it work was it's just a picture and then um, your video. So, yeah, the Vault Hunters might have to go on hiatus until I get like a better computer. Because, I mean, they just keep um, updating it. Which isn't a bad thing. Mod packs should be updated. Unless if it's like a story driven. Which this has an end. But they constantly want to make it better. Anyways. Let me show you what this is. And I don't think we will do much more than this. So basically. You choose whatever it is. And you put it in there. And now it's a pen. So you can press shift. And then you can see the stats about it. Like sheep count two. And then you can go with bees, uh, and it tells you like honey level, gathering pollen, it takes that many seconds. And then with cows, it's pretty much the same thing, just as cows. And then you can breed them. Well, you would be able to, but I can't breed any of those animals. But yeah, so unfortunately, this will be the last video of Vault Hunters. Gideon, again, I apologize. I wish that I could have played this more, but I don't want to do this if um, it's going to be lagging. So I, I truly apologize. So thanks for watching. Peace out, Joe. God bless you all. Sit upon the altar. to offer and open a portal to nowhere if time's an instrument i'd play it with greed i'm gripping these crystals i'm taking a try to escape but it's not my fault because no one will tell you that you don't run the you don't run the vault Box, you took a right, right out of sight. Just a minute on the clock, a bead of sweat, it falls and drops. You turn to ice. The second you're surrounded, as silence is so scarce, you're suddenly reminded of skills you seem to bear. So through the mob of monsters, your weapon treads and tears. Listen for the portal, your ticket out of here. If time's an instrument, I'd play it with greed. 
I'm gripping these crystals I'm taking a try to escape But it's not my fault Cause no one will tell you that You don't run the vault to offer and open a portal to nowhere.